episode 50, 5-0. Yay! Yay! I'm your host and GM, Alex Newell, and with me today... Bryn Monroe. James, I brought the party rings, Ross. Yeah, you did. Ben Meredith. Lydia, I'm wearing a hat. Nicholas. Uh, who are you playing? Oh, um... Who are you playing? <laughs> he's losing track of party. Bryn is drunk right now. He's yeah. had too much party sherry. <laughs> Very drunk. <laughs> Turns out, because I'm playing Hamid the Halfling Sorcerer, one thimble of sherry is enough to make me completely wasted. Uh, Sir Bertrand binds a carafe MacGuffin. <laughs> <laughs> Zolf, nothing funny to say, Smith. <laughs> Sasha, Again, sad and resentful racket. <laughs> so. Sasha, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> it's my party, now please get out of the room so that I can skulk in the corner alone. <laughs> <laughs> so picking up where we left off, Everything's fantastic. You won. I think Bryn's just gone out to the balcony. Uh, Hammer's just gone out to the. Well, Bryn's just gone out to the balcony to talk to his adoring public. Which yeah. ones? There's a lot. By which what? I mean everyone. They like you guys a lot. Mm-hmm. All at once. Do you have like a loud hailer spell? No. Oh. I've often thought one would be useful. But then you met Bertie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just got true. him to repeat what you said. I need, I need a translator. What for? Loudness. <laughs> <laughs> You, you do well in a lot of political circles yeah. with that. Yeah. That's why he's part of the upper crust. <laughs> <laughs> Bread for it. Hey, because it was a pie because I could cross. Ah, Lydia looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only this is really good as well. <laughs> I only have a pun inadvertently. <laughs> Just your look of pure what? Why? What? Picking up where we left off, everything is like you said, awesome. You're in Latrion because we're part of a team <laughs> with Hamid Time surveying his fans from the balcony. Chanting the rackets until one of the people on the rooftops notices that it's Hamid and begins chanting his name, and then that cry supplants the rangers as they all are cheering your name. I bask. I don't have anything to say. They wouldn't hear me anyway. I look like I'm saying something, but actually I'm just going, yes, yes, please applaud more. It's great. <laughs> the nearest ones on the rooftop cheer more as if you've said something, so everyone on the ground cheers more as if you've said something. Bertie hears this and is going to get in on their spilly, so he emerges onto the balcony. There's another huge cheer. I, I step up like on onto a railing and do the thing that like the, the referee in a boxing match does. I grab Bertie's hand and like pause just for the cheer to start going down. And I lift his hand into the air. Yeah, you're you're welcome. You are welcome. Yes. It's it's yeah. uproarious. Yeah. Uh, Sasha continues sitting at the dinner table, eating dire lobster and pointedly not looking at Zolf, just looking anywhere else in the room. I am sitting in a, a, a very large armchair, angrily reading a paper, and <laughs> every so often looking over it at Sasha, who's not looking at me and going back to angrily reading the paper. Are you turning the pages like... Yeah, yeah, I'm like... News, I'm, news, news, I'm, news. I, I see there's some news. Also properly sulky. It's like, look at me reading this paper because I don't care what you think because this paper is so interesting. <laughs> is it in English? paper well i'm going to assume so because i don't speak french <laughs> well i don't know for all i know you could be that annoyed watching reading a french newspaper upside, upside down. down no i can i can tell where a headline is come on <laughs> well then no, i'm reading the time you get a whatever, very interesting though. headline barrett has been captured in london oh superintendent harringay formerly sergeant harringay having successfully captured barrett has received one of the largest promotions in police history and barrett is now awaiting multiple counts of murder, extortion and just about everything under the sun and is currently being held under extreme supervision. Um, Sasha? Oh, I'm sorry, no, Zolf. Sasha, I don't on. have more tragedies for no, you to be jealous Sasha. of. Sasha. Because they're not sad enough. I've got some lobster. Barrett's been captured. What? What? No. Yes, you read that wrong. You can't read it's French, well, Zolf. It's an English paper. It's the Times. Just look, look. I'll turn the paper around. Look. Come over here. Don't want to look at Zolf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've got to have that wrong. Takes the paper away. Snap! <laughs> in um, response to the unusual amounts of rioting and other violence in other London in recent days, a large covert police operation was organised by Haringey, and with the assistance of local hero Greg Colson. Greg! Oh, you're yeah, Greg! Greg. <laughs> Greg with his quiche! He was successfully subdued, restrained, and removed and now they are sending a number of operatives down in order to provide aid to those who are obviously going to need it in the new power vacuum. Oh, wait, what? No, like, I don't understand. That's... I mean, the thing is, Barrett was evil and horrendous, but the thing is that while he was there, like, you know, the ceilings didn't cave in. 
and there wasn't rock growing up the walls and people generally ate. I don't know, like if he's not there, are they going to look after them? Are, are, are they gonna are they gonna take care of people or is it just gonna be is it just gonna be fighting again like I mean sometimes stable horror is better than what what came before it you know I don't understand what's what's going on yeah well maybe maybe someone will step into power vacuum quickly or I don't know Harringay seemed like a decent guy maybe he's gonna yeah maybe you'll look after everyone there yeah also Sasha I'm sorry all right I'm I'm sorry. Um, that was out of line. I just I'm still depressurizing from everything that's happened. And uh, yeah, right. Whatever. Right. Do what you want with that information. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Fine. Whatever. That. Yeah. Okay. That. Good. Cheers. Right. right. Sure. Cool. Right. Good. Can I can I have my can I have my paper back? Uh, right. well, wait. Give me a sec. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Sure, you can, <laughs> yeah. you can, you can, you can right, have cool. it. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Right. All right, fine. All right good. Yeah. Nice. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's no, fine. It's Would you like me to get you anything from the table while I'm up? Uh, maybe uh, a claw. Okay, I'll get, yeah. I'll All get right, well, it. There you go. Fine. Meanwhile, on, <laughs> the, <laughs> on the balcony. I wasn't going to stop that. <laughs> I have, by the merely the presence of hand gestures divided the crowds outside into two assigned one <laughs> half to Bertie and one half to myself and we're now having a competition to see whose half of the crowd can cheer louder yeah. <laughs> there's Hang a reason these two are friends <laughs> Hang in to allow this <laughs> there is no winner <laughs> can I have a suggestion for a non-geographical <laughs> <case>? <laughs> they say uh, submarine <laughs> I, I heard submarine. Jeez, monkey. Big <laughs> supermarket spatula, gynecologist. <laughs> so. Bertie's arm is sore from waving. <laughs> Hammond has waves stamina coming out of his ears. <laughs> Have you taught Brutal to wave? <gasps> That's the thing I can do. It's Hand 10 animal. grams, handle animal. Oh, dress him up like the queen. No, it, it does not go well. <laughs> <laughs> two plus seven is nine. He's too busy staring adoringly into your face oh. in a manipulated way <laughs> to wave. I, I, I when sense. are you going to let that go, Alex? When? I mean, I don't care if Bertie did it. Like, it's, it's not, not okay. a problem. <laughs> yeah. okay. Continuating Bertie, that's genuinely why he does. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason the character's so. uh, Skill. Yeah, well, well done, James. We uh, still hate you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping ahead to the next morning. There is a, a knock at the door. Does anyone open it? Yeah. Uh, no. no, we have so people to do that for yes. us. Correct! Yes. <laughs> you pass the test. One of your servants opens it. More servants come in. <laughs> they are carrying sacks. They look around for a moment, quickly get a temporary table set up by the entrance. They begin emptying the sacks, which are full of envelopes. They end like some more, and some uh, more. What, what is this? And some more, and there is a large pile. Uh, eventually someone comes up and goes, we um, we selected the ones we thought you'd be most interested with and have uh, arranged for the left to be stored um, at, at your leisure. What? Oh, also, we thought that um, you would want this delivered personally, and one of them hands a telegram to Hamid. What, what are these? It's your left. Your mail. mail. It's your mail. What? Okay. Sir. Bertie just Six kind of, bags! Bertie flops backwards onto the table and starts roaring around. <laughs> ah! I am covered in glory. This is brilliant. Have, have, these, have you these... never sent a, a note to a soprano after a particularly moving aria or something like that? Do I look like the kind of dwarf who sends a note to a soprano after a particularly moving aria? I no, prefer a good bass <laughs> tenor myself. Kevin, never... are you saying that all these people know where we live? No, they know where we are. That's not the same thing. I mean, that's just as bad. <laughs> Well, yeah. but they're, I mean, they're literally watching from outside. I mean, we were on the balcony waving. Yeah, obviously they know where we are. I think we should get another place to stay. Well, I mean, we need to discuss what we're going to do next. Get somewhere some where less point, people know where yes. we are. Well, I'm still awaiting the delivery of the circlet of command, the crowning glory I, of the Carthaginian Empire. I, I'm just going to read this telegram. Dearest son, stop. <clears throat> so proud, stop. Inbound, stop. So proud, stop. Hamid starts shaking. You all right? What, what? Yes, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Everything what? is fine. I'm really, somebody, really good. Is somebody sending you death threats? Give that here. No. I snatch it away. Uh, all right. What? What? My, I mean, well, that and um, pa- parents coming. What? 
Wait, are you all right? Do we need to get you to a safe place? I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. But if Absolutely your parents are coming, fine. Are you sure that you're going? You, you don't need a safe place. I can shove some daggers for they're, you. Um, 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 pr- 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 proud of me. Okay. I look really right. confused. Right. Yeah. Were they? Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. Mm. Yeah. Well, like, aren't saved you, the world. Mm. Aren't you pretty successful at stuff? Yes. Your time, yeah. You? No, that makes sense. Mm. Right. Well, good. I see no further need for investigation on this matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yes. Uh, uh, familiar issues aside, um, yes, we will need to discuss where we're going next. Um, probably. Well, I also have a massive amount of Carthaginian jewels to fence and an enormous, uh, enormously valuable pair of legs. Well, isn't Zolf really use, use the legs? Don't you want to walk around, Zolf? Uh, I mean, if they're not evil, obviously. I didn't think they were evil. Not using the products of that thing. Oh, well... We've all been using the products of that thing for years, of she, she, it was running the entire financial system. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not, no, I'm not. If they, if they didn't wither up in your spells, then, uh, then they're probably not evil, right? That's not the point. They're the product of... Countless deaths. We're all the product of countless deaths, of Like, we're not that's, the that's how parenting works. Yeah. Eventually they die. I we're mean... all just the product of the people that managed to survive by slashing up as many other people as they could. Like, I mean, apparently, one of my parents was some kind of gang lord. I don't know how many people he slashed up. Doesn't mean that I'm evil, probably. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it does. Well, they, they might have been stolen. I mean, that thing didn't so, seem very do you good. Think they're stolen. Not breaking up what? Coming up with original ideas. I'm just saying that they, you know, at the very least, the schema might have been purloined from somewhere. Like, like copying someone's legs, for instance. Yeah, I mean, I just don't think that as legs they're inherently evil. I... Are you going to blame Bertie for all of the ills that the upper crust have done to all of us? Well, may- maybe if you don't want them, Zoff, maybe we should sell them, yeah. and from the proceeds, we should buy you something different as legs, and then we can split split the remainder four ways. I mean, do you think I'm evil because me being alive is the product of that thing apparently fixing me up again? <sighs> like, no. Sometimes you just got to take what you can get, and these seem good, and they're made for the sockets in your legs now. Right. I don't want them. I suppose it's your legs, it's your body. I will find another way to sort this out. I'm not having a reminder of... We did still effectively murder about 23,000 mines. They were already dead. Yep. And we can justify it to ourselves as much as we want. I wasn't actually having a problem justifying it before now. There is a knock at the door. Enter! Sir Bertrand. Yes? We think it appropriate that someone open the door for us. I wave at one of the servants. <laughs> they come over and open it. Two unnecessarily sinister gnomes stand on the other side of the door. <laughs> Bertie rolls his eyes. I'm, I'm sorry, is this relevant? We've got something quite important to talk about. I believe Sir Bertrand will find this relevant. Would you please bear with us one moment? We apologise for yes. the inconvenience. I suppose so. Sir Bertrand, mm. we have been made aware of your most recent efforts. Vast heroism, mm. world-saving epoch-defining heroism, I might say. Discovering the mysteries lost to the ages mm. and saving the world. Pretty pretty heroic, I'd say. Mm. I mean, I, I know I'm biased, but he, he was really impressive. Yeah, and he saved some legs in distress as well. Yeah, they're very sad legs, like, oh, and they just take the legs out and tips them slightly forward as if they were sad. They pull out a pad <laughs> and sort of note it, pass it to the other one, the other one notes. Again, perfectly coordinated. In lieu of your recent actions, both with the diadem, in addition to your actions regarding, more importantly, the events at L'Arc d'Ordinateur, you may consider your contract completed, null and voided. Thank you. What? Wait, what? They turn and begin leaving. What? What? How? How? Um... What? Is there a problem, Sir Bertrand? Should you wish to enter into a new contract, we would be happy to entertain the notion. No, no, that that's fine. Uh, so you're saying that this whole business is sorted, that the McGuffingham estate is no longer in any sort of debt whatsoever? Acts that this of is heroism resolved? are calculated with the number of affected parties, given that the number of affected parties are 
approximately most of humanity, excluding the Americas, we can consider you having fully paid your contractual debts. Congratulations, you are the first MacGuffing um, in three generations to achieve this. Congratulations, should you sire an heir, we will again, of course, be in touch. Thank you. Well, Bertie, congratulations. Excellent. Right, I'm off. See you later. Lovely meeting you. Lovely meeting you at um, Sasha and Zolf. Hamid, I will see you at the next uh, Old Boys of Trinity meeting. Toodaloo. Uh, leave the legs. What? Well, they're Rangers property and you're no longer part of them. Uh, all right, fine. I'll take a quarter of the legs. I thought you didn't want them. Still want the proceeds. Fine, let's sell them and then I will leave and never see you again. Mm. Right, well, thanks for all the uh, help, I suppose. Good, chop chop, let's get these sold. Mm. You don't... You're really just going to go, Bertie? Yep. Oh, okay. Bertie does not notice this. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, if you wouldn't mind leaving, because we're going to have a discussion about where we're going next, which does not involve yeah. you. Bye, Brutal. Presumably you head out of the flat. Yep. Okay. With the legs. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Going to sell these then, are we? Hmm? Yes, but not right now, because we're doing important things. <sighs> Fine. And Bertie's staying there in order to make sure he gets one quarter of the legs money, because sure. that was like 20 grand, I think. from a... 30. 30 grand. Yeah. So yeah. that's... They were 30 per leg. Yeah. 30 per leg. Mm-hmm. And there was so an 60. arm. Are we going to sell that arm you got as well, Sasha? Oh, um, yeah, you saw that, right. Uh, yes, that can also go in oh, the pile. Sasha, I expected that much of Bertie, but not you. What? It's blue. At least go in a bedroom. What? I have no interest in you hearing about our future plans if you are no longer going to be part of the Rangers. Now get out of my earshot. Very well. Bertie uh, goes off in the direction of... Mm. <laughs> the balcony for some more basking. Yeah, the balcony. Yeah, the balcony. Goes up to the balcony for more basking. Right, as sorely tempted as I am now to put on the legs, just to annoy Verity. So, next thing on the list, we'll have to find a replacement for him. Yeah, we'll probably need a... Uh... Fighter. If Basically, we need... we need another one of those sentient bricks that we have. We need for. something that means that I can get... They absorb the front of a monster, so I can get around the back and really yeah. dig in. Uh, and I think next is probably... What, Cairo, do we reckon? No, we're going to go north, remember? Oh, we're, we're going to get a gyrocopter. Pra- pra- we're going to fly. Pra- oh, yes, the there's gyrocopter. a knock at the door. But oh. What is it? I wave a servant. <laughs> the door opens to a, a wild who's looking a bit nonplussed at the reaction. He's he's holding a letter. Sorry, I can come back later. If you, do you need a no, bit more we time? Just have, no, please, come in. You're We've right had right. a lot of news, is the thing. Well, I should hope so. As you can in. see from the drifts on the table. Comes in, closes the door. Yes, good, isn't it? No. Uh, this one's for you, by the way. Hands it to Sasha. What, a bit of fan mail? It's a telegram. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it sits down. So I think uh, I should update you quickly. Uh, sh- should we get Bertie back in the room for oh, this? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Well, uh, good news all round, actually, for a change. Firstly, you were correct to send us off looking. There was a fluidics expert and some others working in London on that. That's been shut down. Uh, they haven't acquired any specimens. Same in Cairo, thank God. Also, quite proud of myself on this one. We managed to summon most of the meritocratic forces to examine the crater. There's nothing left whatsoever. Good, good. Good job there. Oh. Presumably you're quite happy about Barrett as well. I I mean, I, I don't know if I believe it. It's uh, quite strange. Sasha's a bit concerned about the uh, state of the other people, London. The left behind. Oh, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about it. Guivre, the French meritocrat, the one who's responsible also for England. Guivre has decided that the other London situation has been left long enough and has been arranging for funds and aid to be sent down in order to bring them fully into the city and to expand the realms of the city downwards. They will be receiving a number of amenities and other help. We're not having any of this whole, like, hey, you pour a lot, get out, so more. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. They're assembling, basically, a a council of people who are considered high up in the other London community in order to guide the efforts. They will be receiving the help, but they won't be told what to do. Is, is Greg on the council? Funny thing about Greg. Would you want him on the council? I know he liked quiche, but... He, he declined a place. Oh. Uh, well, you say, ah, oh, I mean, he makes an excellent meal. And as far as I understand, he's now um, he's now going to be running a restaurant chain or something. <laughs> I wasn't oh, really paying attention. Greg. Good at cooking. Wasn't Greg's hard. the baker's, is that... Oh! Yes! Oh, yes, it is. Oh no! And I apologise for anybody who's not British. Uh, I'm really Have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> have a, but not from Greg's. Yeah. No, from Greg's. Have a sausage roll. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's made of eel. Oh, I want one of those. They're awful, but I do like they, them. Yeah, they're not good. Anyway, carry on. So the 
The question is what to do with you all now. I'd like to what thank you for it? services rendered and uh, time to discuss payment and retirement, I suppose. Well, there's, well, I mean, well, there's the, still a lot to do. The the like we were given. one of six. Where's the, the simulacrum, though? Ah, yes. Well, long story short, with the majority of the ordinateurs destroyed, it was very clear to us that the majority of the plans must have been found amongst them. I turn to Zolf and say, are these memories real? Whoa. Because this is all working out spookily well. Oh, no, that's so possible. Oh, I, no. I don't know oh, if I believe God. all of this. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's too, it's too right. He leans Zolf. across to Sir Bertrand and goes, "I almost thought I was dreaming, but this is ridiculous." <laughs> I, that's not funny, Mister Wild. Really? Yeah. Oh. If it was, uh, if it was anybody else, Bertie would just like take this as like this is the correct answer because like this is so like yes, I want to retire with a massive amount of money and then <laughs> go and live in Morocco and be oiled. That's his <laughs> end game. But given that it's uh, Oscar Wilde, he's a bit more suspicious. So can I attempt something like a sense motive check or sure. something like that, which I'm at minus one for. Uh, Thirteen minus one is twelve. He seems on the level, although he's making a lot less puns than normal. Hamid, Hamid, I don't think this is right. Can I talk to you in the other room? Yeah? What? Why is it? Oh, I think we should just all Wait, go and discuss any, uh, this. Have you got any news for me? Anything? Oh, sorry, yes. Um, regarding that, uh, I've been making arrangements, again, um, about the legs. I, I understand that you have a set yourself, although, <laughs> given the situation, I can't exactly see you wanting to uh, walk off in a brand new pair, obviously. I, I think maybe you'd... Uh, I thought you might prefer an alternative. I've been speaking to... Uh... It's got a massive horse. Massive horse for you. You're going <laughs> to ride a massive horse all the time. I, Just I, get oh, gonna be a, gonna be a, not going to be a centaur. A massive horse. I've yes. been speaking to Bishop Julian. I realise... Oh, Bishop Julian. Okay, and he's... Um, I realise he's of the Apollo Church. Right. And we have sent out missives to Poseidon, but uh-huh. you tend to linger around the coast as a people, so we're still waiting back. Yeah. Julian has agreed to perform a restoration for you, should you wish. Oh, so I get both my legs back? Yes. Oh, what a perfect solution. Anything else at all? Like, how my parents? Your parents? Yeah. Uh, we haven't got a message to them yet, no. um, but I, I suspect they're proud. <laughs> oh, no, they're dead. Oh, dead right. proud. Right. Uh, yes, it, Mr. Wall, if you wouldn't mind, we'd just like to have a bit of a... I'm feeling a bit like a gift horse here right now. Yeah. Would you like to check my teeth? <laughs> you, why don't you go check your own teeth in the hallway? Fair enough. He turns it's around and heads to out to the hallway. Knocked out and uh, scattered all over the floor. Sasha is going to look at the telegram that was given to her. It has two sentences In on case it. it has any bad news, she's desperately hoping that it's yeah. bad news because that would make her feel like some of the rest of it might be real. It says, go back, stop, get out, stop. Guys, look at this. Someone is still trying to get a message to me. Oh, Jesus. Go back, go back, get out of here. We are still... Go. Something is wrong. This is all too good to be true. Genuinely, this is too good to be true. We need to go back to the crater yeah. and see what's going on. This is not... It's too neat. This is so neat. You really think that they'd write off your contract like that? It's not even that. It's the whole, oh, we've just decided that simulacrum's not important anymore. We don't need you to do that. that. That's you... a bit strange, yeah. Also, your parents just coming over so proud. Well, but if we. Also, where are his parents? No, 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 proud. no, 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 no. Just the fact that it was like so. Everything's but that. Ha- Hannah just starts to cry, sadly. Joke, tightly. So, are we saying that Mr. Sealing changed our memories and that none of this is real? I don't know how we... long stuff hasn't been real. Like, maybe it's just from the time that we ran away from we... the place. Like, I just, let's go back to the crater. I just want to see it for myself. I propose a test. If none of this is real, then I could murder Oscar Wilde with complete impunity. Not necessarily, <laughs> Bertie. We don't know. You know, when we were... When we you were... know what I'd enjoy right uh, now? You no, remember when... Some silence. No, no, no. Remember when we were in the canteen in the ordinateurs and people were just moving around around us? Like, they were still real. We were still real. They just... There was just slight tweaks. Yeah, um, I think that might actually be wrong. He's still probably meritocratic contact, so you will still be arrested and executed. Not necessarily murderable right now. Yeah. Let's just go back to the crater yeah, right to, now. Definitely. Very well. Yeah. Uh, you heading out? Oscar yeah. Wilde's obviously Hamid down in the port. Hamid down, starts eating. Uh, Hamid. Hamid. Hamid, you're coming with us. Hamid. Look, what? we've had this discussion with Sasha. Do a grief later. What's Deal the, with problem now. What's the point? What do you mean, what's the point? If it can control all our perceptions this strongly, how can we possibly fight against it? All right, go jump off the balcony. See you later. Uh, don't don't, don't, don't follow his advice. Yeah. Uh, are you, you, you going to do that? 
Are you no. going to go and jump off the balcony? Right, so you still, there is still a point, isn't there? Because you're not willing to just do that. So come with us and sort it out. We don't know. There might be a way through this, Hamid. And, and we don't know how much of this stuff is real. Some of the discussions we've had have been in that room, I think. I don't know if that was a false memory either. Like, let's just, let's go to the crater. If we can't trust our own perceptions of reality, then nothing we can do can make any difference. Hang Ooh, on, hang on Someone did A-level philosophy. Hang on, hang, hang on a minute. Go in the, the magic room, the, the null room. But if you don't believe any of this is real, what's even to say we're awake right now? What's even to say that we're... That, we're actually Maybe. in the building we right, think we're in. Right, let's. This telegram seems to be the only thing that's saying something bad. Let's go. Let's go back. We need to get in that crater. I think something Good. might be punching through and trying to give us a message, which means it's still worth getting a message. It's good cheesecake, at least. Well, great. I mean, and we know that that was real because good, good we dream had cake. good cheesecake before that. Right, someone wheel, please. Oh, right. Uh, comes back and pushes Zolf forward with one hand while eating cheesecake from the other hand. Thank you. It's not so bad, Hamid. We just need to check stuff out. It tastes delicious. Yeah. Let's grab some cheesecake as well and a little <laughs> slice of a brute whore. Wild is there in the doorway. Um, leaving? Yeah, we've just got an errand to run. If you wait here, we'll be back in like, I give it half an hour. Uh, sure, okay. Yeah, oh, have some of the cheesecake. It's lovely. Okay. Come on, Oscar. We can eat it together. Okay. Hammond, really? Hammond hasn't sat, stood up. Hammond's not in the slightest bit persuaded by anything you said. Uh, He's going to just sit there and eat the cheesecake. This could be it. If you stay here, this could be it. Doesn't matter anyway. How will we ever know we've won? How will we ever know what's real ever again? We can try. Good luck. All right. I thought you were a little bit more... Whatever. Yeah, fine. Let's go. Okay. Mm. So, heading into the lobby, there is a throng of people crushed against we the front. head out the back. Yep, yeah, the major dude who's there. Of course. Please write this way. He gestures you out to the back. He also opens a door and goes, there's actually a tunnel that leads to a separate building that we own, because obviously this kind of situation oh, wouldn't happen. Well, good. Oh, great, yeah, cheers. Oh, tunnels, I like tunnels. Just for you to head in. It's carpeted, there's, there's pictures and so on, it's a short walk. Oh, uh, actually, sorry, did you have some... Could we just borrow some rope? I can arrange for it if you give me a couple of moments. Yes, please, please. Rope and maybe some hooks. A few minutes pass. Come back with the rope, passes it to you. Put right. it in my bag of holding. It's about 100 foot. Right, thank you. Head down the mm-hmm. tunnel. Yep. to the other place. Yep. We're now at the lip of the crater. There is still a crowd around the crater and still a bunch of paladins. They're all cheering as you're coming nearby and the uh, paladins, you know, obviously let you nearby. Is there anything that I can do for you? Can you do any spells that get rid of mind-altering spells? Um, yes. Um, I, not, not myself, but, I mean, we've, we've, we've got plenty of people who are able to do that. Why do you ask? I just think it would be nice to make sure that we've like got rid of maybe the lingering effects of the computers. You know that it was doing some stuff to people's minds. Just want to be double sure, you know, right? I, I don't know much about this magic stuff, so maybe that's, it's good to do it twice. I don't know, Zolf, does that sound right? Yep. I think we should probably go down first. Oh, oh right. Because fine. you can never be sure that people cast on you until they've done it. Oh, right, gosh. That's, that's quite worrying. I thought about that before. <laughs> <laughs> weird blind spot in your paranoia. <laughs> so it makes sense though. I mean, yeah, no, like no, for sure. the magic it's, using it's thing, magic. you just opened up whole new vistas of paranoia yeah, for her to right. examine. <laughs> Are you really healing me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, your arms popping back on. Yeah. <laughs> well. Right. Look over the lip of the crater. It looks traversable. There's plenty of sort of corridors and so on that come out into just a crater. Look around and shout. Does anyone happen to have any telegrams for me? Just asking. Just any telegrams? Cryptic telegrams. Anyone? No. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'll tie this up then. There's yeah. literally foundation, like reinforced foundations poking out all over. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take twenty and just do it perfectly. Yeah. That's fine. The words on the telegram to me again before. Go back. Stop. Get out. Stop. Keep staring. Okay, this is weird. Hammond's right. It's proper weird. It is proper weird, but unlike him, we're not giving up. I wish we hadn't left him, but he was... If he's going to fill his face... He'll be much happier on a full stomach. So, it's not a sheer vertical cliff face. It is traversable on foot without having to do rock climbing. So if you're willing to take the time, you can go down without you know having to roll a climb check. We're not being harried. So. No, yeah. there's, there's no stakes. Might I suggest that, given pre-past experience, that I, Sir Bertrand McGuffingham, go down... First. Yes. Sure, yeah. Yes, that's a very sensible idea. 
Okay. So I'm glad I take that deep Yeah, that's fine. You you make it to the base. You realise that you are probably on the ceiling of what was the cavern, which, mm-hmm. given that everything's imploded, should have caved in. Yeah. But there's just it, there's a layer of rubble, which from the top looks a lot like a caved-in cavern, but you're one floor up. How fragile does it look? Jump up and down. Go to jumps up and down. No. Stamps on the floor a lot. It sounds a lot like you're jumping up and down on, on stone. Weak like fight. it's it's rubble. You're still on yeah. rubble. It's just that Where's the staircase then in relation to this? It looks like it's sort of over to one side, maybe a hundred yards to one side. Dead on the staircase. Yeah. Giving us off a piggy back. So heading to the staircase. It's the staircase that you came up the second time after you'd fetched the leg. So down yeah. here it's awash with stains of like whatever that fluid was. It's all drained away now, but there are stains. And heading down, you find yourself at the double-doored entrance to the cavern. Heading up doors. Heading in. The cavern is untouched. Hang on a bit. Yep. What, the brains are still in there? All the jars are still there. All the brains are still there. Go to the control room. Give me a perception Eight. check. Eight minus one is seven. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen plus nine, twenty-five. There is a faint glow coming from the control room. Right. <sighs> Uh, you... Oh, I've got my spells pack. Good. <laughs> yeah. Just so we're just so we're clear about who realised that that it was all wrong. Just yeah. No. Ah, uh, uh, what I see this as is another opportunity for Sir Bertrand McGuffingham mm-hmm. mm. to save the day by smashing up the control centre. I did it so well the first time. Did you though? Don't know. Almost certainly, yes. If we're there is actually... one thing that I know with absolute certainty, it's Bert- that I'm brilliant Bert- and great at We are actually kids. in the middle of a supercomputer that wants us yeah. dead. Um, and. Well done. Yeah, I have me going. So. Right. Okay. Let's let's get in there and yeah, smash just, it up again. Just, oh, talk to. I don't know what it was. Well, I know what. Hello, it was. Mr. Ceiling. There's no answer. Um, let's go to the control room. There's no control panel there. There's just a plain wooden door built into the room wall. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, maybe. The detritus from the creature that you destroyed is not there either. Oh, is it the damage? Or is no. It, right. Um, Christine. Open the door. Uh, very get ready. Right. Uh, Okay. Go to the sword. Yep. Uh, well, I've kind of got. I'm giving Zog a piggyback here, so maybe you could. Uh, I'll, you I'll, I'll carry him. Like, no, well, oh, it's right. Actually, no, no, no. If so it, I'd rather you could be much more door. useful if you fought without me on your back, because you yeah. just open the door with one hand. Very well. Thirty opens the door. Who steps through first? Thirty. Okay. As you open the door, you can see a room on the far side of it. It has. All four of you in, mm-hmm. Hamid as well, mm-hmm. all in the exact poses that you were at, with Hamid literally having pushed buttons like at the control panel, and everything's perfectly still on the far side of the door. Bertie, you walk through. Gosh, I am handsome. He walks through. <laughs> <laughs> with, that, with those words. He walks through and disappears. <sighs> we should get Hamid. We should get Hamid. We need to bring Hamid. This is... So we can't go through this. We're going to leave him in some okay, kind of okay, trapped okay, reality. Okay, you just leave me here. Go get him. Right. Okay. We can't I can totally convince him about. Yeah. Just if right. knock him out and drag him if you have to. Cut to Hamid. You are currently sat, presumably with Oscar Wilde. Oh, I ate so much cheesecake, Oscar. I'm so sorry. I mean, uh, oh. I, I probably should have done something, but you know, you seem to be having a good time. <laughs> It was. <laughs> glor- Hold me back, Oscar. I'm going for it. <laughs> it was glorious. You're all right. You seem off. So full. I'll tell you what, I'll I'll go get you something. He goes to snap one of the waiters. And no one's there. Oh, for goodness' sake, he stands up, heads, goes over to the door, heads out. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna. There's a knock. I'm just gonna take a nap. Take it's a, a nap. knock that feels vaguely familiar. It's very regular. Not, not, not. Not, not, not. I just... Not, not, not. Oh, dear. Not, not, not. I, with effort, lift <laughs> my head from the table and not, glance not, not. around the room for the servants. Not, not, not. There aren't any there. Not, not, not. Not, not, not. I... Not, not, not. Stumble not, not, not. and stagger to the door. Not, not, not. And open it. Sasha's mechanical man is stood on the other side of the door. I squint up at him. What? An extremely distorted voice comes out of the mechanical man. Go back. Get out. What? Bit of a delay. Go back. Get out. Back where? Out of what? It reaches out 
and grabs your hand, surprisingly delicately for something so large, and then it drops down on one knee, and it holds your hand in its other hand. This is beautiful. And it takes subplot. <laughs> and it looks eye to eye. Sometimes you have to try. I vomit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's going to excrete a fluid on the scene as per usual. <laughs> well, I think about your moments. You feel better. Mm. Yes, I do. <laughs> it tilts its head a moment. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. I cast press digitation and clean the vomit off it. You don't get to give up. Sasha needs you. Is there still a chance? There's an easy way to find out. Hammered bolts for the. It doesn't even use an elevator. He goes straight for the stairs. As yep. fast as his tiny little legs will carry him, he's yep, going to yep. run towards. Cut back to the Arc de Triomphe. Everyone back into. The, sorry, the Arc de la Ordinate. Cut back to everyone who's back in the crater. Yep. Bertie has gone through a door and disappeared. Yeah. Yep. Nothing has changed on the other side of the scene apart from the fact that there's only one Bertie on the other side of the door and it's the one that's frozen. Uh, I. Put Zolf down and say, "Look, I'm going to get Hamid. I can't leave him in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all Go. right here. Yeah, okay, I'll, get, I'll give him a dagger. I've got spells. <laughs> I'll give, no, I've, I've got, got 14 daggers. All right, yeah, I'll take. Yes, give him a you. dagger. Right, it's a good dagger. Look after it. I, I will. It's one of my favourites. One of my 14 favourites. <laughs> <Just, yeah. laughs> and I run up uh, where we came from. So you're running back up the way um, we come. Yeah. Okay. Cut back to Hamid. As you're running, and um, the crowd at the front doors aren't there anymore. Give me a perception check. 18. So you head out and you start presumably still on foot just bolting it. Yep. It is a runnable distance. Like I said, you're only like across the way. Yeah. You notice there's a uh, billboard on the side. It just says, look after her for me. I do a very poor salute at the billboard. <laughs> I have no idea how to salute, but I want to acknowledge it in some way. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're okay, kid. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> The rest uh, is notably silent on how to address. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite tricky etiquette. There's, there's situation. some situations it just doesn't cover. I've yeah, always wondered why. Yeah, it's, just, it's not as comprehensive as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so, running as fast as you can, just beelining straight for it. Just as you reach the lip of the crater, you see Sasha just having hauled herself back up the rope to the top of the crater. All oh, right, Sasha, wait. I'm sorry, I should have, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's, it's okay, we found, like, basically, none of it's real, just come with me. So, um, yeah. we will cut ahead to, back into, I'm presuming that you are heading back yeah, into Yeah, we go back to the, the, I left, I left Zolf here, but I left him with a good dagger, so he's probably all right. Zolf, cut to you. Cool. <laughs> Nothing happens for a while. Eventually, Sasha and Hamid, make their way in through the cavern towards you. See, look, there's this door, Hamid. I don't know if you know any magic stuff about how... Right, yeah, this, this is... And Bertie went through we're, and then we're he We're way vanished. beyond what yeah, I've this is ever a, This learned. is some big, bad juju. <laughs> We've got a... That's a technical term. Well done, Zolf. <laughs> I think Might have picked it up. Bertie's somewhere. already through there, so we don't really have much choice. We just go through. Well, let's go. Yeah. Uh, 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 carry, please. Uh, yep, okay. Oh, um, here's your dagger back. Right. Uh, thank you. Stow it away. You can't even tell where it was hidden <laughs> in the folds of the leather jacket. Uh, and then picks off up, but still, like, awkwardly, I'm holding another dagger uh, just out. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's go. <sighs> Hammond behind me. Step through. Yep. I follow. Time skips. You all find yourselves in the positions that you were relative in that room. Yep. Hamid, your hands are hovering over the board. Zolf, you're still craned up mid-conversation with Mr. Ceiling. I will never forgive any of you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, you're kind of stuck in a ready stance, and Bertie, you're there. Hamid, your hand is already down on the button, and another one already on a lever. Yeah. All you need to do is push and pull. Yeah, do it. You do it? <laughs> I mean, it worked so well last time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything goes black instantly. You know that sound you can get where there's air conditioning that you don't really realise was on until it stops and then you realise the silence? Imagine the biggest version of that possible. Just winding down. Winding down. Zolf. Still have dark vision? The room's still there. Everything's fine. The lights have just gone off. But all of them. At uh, once. There is the faint sound of machinery cooling 
things slowing down, and then an echoing silence. An um, echoing okay. silence. Was, all the lights went out. Was that the right thing to do? All the lights have gone out. It seems like you just switched it off. Are we... It was easier than... How was that? How so how did it do? I guess it's a last defence. There is a hiss from the chamber behind you. Um, Sasha, Sasha... Okay, walk forward three paces. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll close it. <laughs> <laughs> we make such niche references. Just yeah. such niche references. Hey, they brought it back. It's yeah. fine. People know about it now. It's the real thing. Just Google it. Google yeah. every time. No, it's nightmare every with pun. a K. Because yeah. it's a funny joke. Yeah. yeah. Lights come back on, and we all get out of bed <laughs> yeah. on our first day in the Rangers. Oh, <laughs> working with that Bertie chap. This he seems nice. <laughs> this is like a nice. This man. time we come up with a better name, though. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, we'll wrap up there, and we hope you tune in next week. For please, we really please do. tune in. I don't think I don't. I hope there's not another layer of this. I don't know what's going on I mean, anymore. I'm yeah. I've already made the Inception joke. I'm not going to make another one. I used that. That's done. So thanks all. Prescient, but done. And we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Rusty Quill Gaming is a podcast distributed by RustyQuill.com and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial International License. Today's episode was recorded and produced by Alexander J. Newell. To comment on episodes, make donations, and view links, images, videos, and show notes, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us on iTunes. Visit us on Facebook. Tweet us on Twitter at the Rusty Quill, or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening. pointedly in lots of directions. Gosh, because he doesn't want to look at <laughs> no. um, This is much funnier if you're sitting in the room and can see Lydia doing the hey, exact same thing. Because they've got it's... binaural <laughs> sounds going on. I don't know whether it makes any difference. I can't do binaural sound. That's so <laughs> difficult. Many sounds. <laughs> 3D sound. <laughs> sound I'm... in your face. <laughs> oh, God. Over here. The 4D experience. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in time and space. <laughs> Chief Haringey, formerly sergeant, formerly captain. <laughs> having that's that's probably Jeremy Harrell. Like that order. <laughs> I don't know the order of police ranks. <laughs> He's only bounced around. Either, yeah. Yeah. Formerly first petty officer, formerly... <laughs> <laughs> formerly <laughs> child. Formerly grand by chancellor. Superintendent, perhaps. <laughs> okay, I might just go back. Yeah. I'll keep that in the blooper so that I look bad. Okay. But I might just replace it for the float. Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Superintendent Haringey, having uh, successfully captured Barrett. <laughs> I'm still laughing at the Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, go watch The Simpsons, the old ones. They're quite funny. <laughs> If uh, Superintendent Barrett stops working, like at the end of the day, you just have to take him out of his seat and blow on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Put him back in his chair. And he works again. Good. Carry on. Superintendent Barrett. <laughs> again, if you're willing to take the time, and it's not like there's lightning and thunder or anything. Oh uh, yeah, but we act like it's pretty fast. I mean, we sure. take five rather than twenty. <laughs> <laughs> So if we need to roll for no, it, you're it's you're fine. Take plausible. five, so you just have a little break. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! yeah, I have a Kit Kat. <laughs> Lydia has an allergic reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia regrets the Kit Kat. <laughs> and vomit. There's <laughs> <laughs> no real reason this time. It's just oh. a developing theme. He's saying, he's saying hello. <laughs>